In this video, we're going to look at some of the tips and tricks for drawing a duct system in the basement with high wall return grills. Uh, the first tip um, is, whenever possible, I try not to look at both floors at the same time. Uh, it can be an overwhelming amount of information and sort of difficult to uh, see what I'm doing. Uh, so I try to deal with things one floor at a time. Um, uh, the first thing I try to do is place the registers uh, where they're going to belong on the first floor. Um, as typically uh, you're going to be more constricted and more constrained uh, by where you can put those grills. All right, so establishing the location of these supply grills and these return grills here. I'm using wall grills here in my hallway in my master bedroom. And then what I'll do is turn on the basement layer so I can see my, my basement floor here. Now while I have the basement layer turned on, I'm also going to turn on level one. But as you can see, things get very cluttered very quickly. It's hard to tell uh, what goes where. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll turn off the building layer on level one. You see, I don't need to know where the walls and, and, and ceilings and floors and windows and doors are on my level one anymore. I'm going to be dealing with the duct system. Um, and the duct system is primarily going to be located in the basement. All I really need to know is where those supply registers go in relation to that basement. And so by hiding the building layer on level one, See, now the only thing I can see here are the location of these supply grills. Now, my favorite trick when doing this is one that we use in other uh, places in the software. Whenever I want to see something, but I don't want to accidentally edit it, I lock it. So I right-click on the duct layer for my level one and lock it down. These supply grills and return grills are located where I want them to go. So by locking that layer, I help prevent myself from making mistakes. Um, I might even choose to lock the duct notation layer or simply hide it so that I don't accidentally edit anything on my level one. My greatest enemy right now is accidentally drawing something that I intend to be in the basement on the first floor. By locking the components on level one that I don't want to accidentally draw on, it eliminates my ability. Look at my HVAC shapes. It eliminates my ability to draw on level one. With the location of these supply grills, I'm going to choose uh, locations for these uh, supply grills in the basement that makes more sense, right? I choose locations here that it's going to be easier for me to connect this ductwork as I probably have more wiggle room uh, for the location of my uh, basement supply and return grills. Once I've had a chance to choose the location of these supply grills and return grills for my basement, I'm ready to draw my duct system. Connecting this duct system is as simple as connecting a regular duct system. Draw your trunk, connect your branches, just make sure you do it on the right floor. Because while Rightsoft will allow you to connect the duct of one floor to the registers of another with no problem, it won't allow you to connect the duct of one floor to the duct on another floor without using a riser. So if I draw a branch on my level one and the trunk in my basement, and you see I have to unlock that to make that happen at this point, the program won't connect that duct. See, it needs a riser there to get to level one. So all I need to do is make sure that all of the ducts that I draw stay in my basement, and I can connect to those level one registers without any issues whatsoever. It's simply connect the dots, making sure I connect these branch runs here, If I have to 90 over, I can do so. Now the only other trick to doing this design is the fact that some of these, two of these registers, in fact, are going to be high wall grills. So what I'm going to want to do when I'm connecting these registers is connect them the way I normally would as if they were simple floor grills. Right, I could draw a trunk if this is going to be a trunk and branch return and run branches back to that trunk like so. This register here is a ceiling grill in the basement. I don't need to worry about that one. But these registers here, these are actually risers. This is going to go up a wall and into uh, some wall stack for a high wall uh, return. That means what I need to do is I need to select the boot connected to that register. If my duct layer is locked on my level one, it actually makes it quite easy for me to do. But what can make it even easier is if I just turn off my level one. You see, now that the ducts are connected, these boot fittings, these show up as nice big targets for me to click on. Right? And if I select one of these boot fittings here, 
I right click, I can make this a riser duct. All right, and when I make this a riser duct, I get to tell it what the length is. So how far up the wall is this thing going to go? The program automatically chooses the fitting here, which I can then select as a, a high wall stud cavity return space. I can also choose an elbow for my second fitting. In addition to that, I can make adjustments to the riser duct itself. And by default, it automatically calculates as simply part of the branch run. But I can change that to a separate piece of duct and size that duct as 3 inch wall stack. And I can do the same to my other. Create a riser, tell it how far it's going, change my fitting selections, add an elbow, and make adjustments to my riser duct. That concludes our video on basement duct systems with high wall grills. Thank you for your time and have a good day.